make habits. So always plan for a second option mm -hmm. and choose subjects that will allow you to then steer yourself into a different direction yeah. um, and make opportunities for the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think you've summed up what I was actually also going to ask you in terms of what is important for them to consider when choosing these. and welcome to our very very first episode i'm so excited um as we said we are trying to navigate our way through the south african education system get some answers to some of the questions that we have into what can the department offer us to help our academic journey or help us help our little brothers and sisters or our sons and daughters so for our very first episode we are speaking to an educator from Santa High School and we are focusing on grade nines and making subject choices for grade 10 to 12. Why do they even go through this? What is so important? What are the things that they should consider? So I don't want to even waste any more of your time. Let's get into it and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, hi Carly. I hope you're well today. First of all, I'd like to thank you for your time, um, for just supporting us a little bit on your time to answer a few questions I have related to grade nine. So everybody, this is Carly. She is a teacher at Santa High School in Port Elizabeth, Badeja, if you please. Um, so just tell us a little bit, which grades do you teach at school? I teach grade eight, grade nine, and grade 10, this year for the first time. So you got hit to fight. <laughs> <laughs> And so as I spoke to you, obviously today I'd really like to focus on grade nines. And obviously I think we all know sometime during the year they have to choose subjects um, that they're going to be doing to from grade 10 up until grade 12, you know. So just first of all, why do they even need to choose subjects when they are in grade 9 for grade 10 to 12? Okay, so grade 9 is the end of the senior phase, as we know, grade 7, 8 and 9 are parts of the senior phase. Okay. So from grade 10 to grade 12, they then into the EPP phase, so that's further integration of the grade 10. So that's why they choose the specific subject courses that they will need to then go further and study further at university, mm -hmm. if they so please. Mm -hmm. um, so it is imperative that they make the correct subject choices, mm -hmm. they are allowed to choose three subjects, the maths is also optional, so pure maths or maths lit, and then your languages are obviously compulsory along with like orientation. Mm. So it is important that our learners understand that the subjects that they choose in grade 9 are not just supposed to get them to grade 12, but it is also supposed to be a sort of a, a guideline as to what they will be studying mm. after school. Um, so that's why we try and guide them in grade 9 mm -hmm. to make the great subject courses. I'm actually learning a lot from what you're saying. First of all, I didn't even know about that division. Of the of I didn't know. So that's, that's it's, it's actually nice to know. And so as you say, so obviously teachers are part of the people that guide these students. So I was about to ask, um, who guides them then in making these decisions? Because I think it's quite a huge decision yes. for a student that is in grade 9. Is, it is, and a lot of the kids don't know themselves yeah. at that point. They don't know what they want to be, they don't know what they want to venture into. Mm -hmm. So the class teacher, as well as the subject teachers, we guide the learners before making their subject choices. So we'll tell them that because of this marks or that marks, or we've watched them throughout the year, this will be better for them, or they will most likely achieve what they want to achieve in this direction. Yeah. Um, but life orientation and the life orientation teacher, yeah. I think, is the most important mm -hmm. guiding aspect mm -hmm. for the guides. Because our public schools, we don't have the luxury of having guidance counselors, our LO teachers then fill that job. Okay. So, um, subject choices and the NSC curriculum falls under the life orientation syllabus. Okay. So, they do come at the work in LO. All right. Um, so, we guide them and we steer them. Uh, according to the attitude, mm -hmm. but we can only do that much. Mm -hmm. It starts with the parents at home. Mm -hmm. So parents have to take an interest in the children's education. They have to guide their children according to their strengths and abilities. Sit down with the kids because from I think from the second term in grade nine, 
to start with the subject choices, to start feeling their new mistakes. Um, so parents need to actively take that participation yeah. in their children's education, sit with them, know what the child's skills and abilities are, and guide them into making the right choice. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And just in terms of making the right choice, why is it important that when I'm in grade nine and I'm choosing my subject, why is it important that I don't just choose what I think for the time being. Why is it important that I choose the correct subjects for myself? So, uh, kids, as I said, don't know themselves. They don't yeah. know the world of work outside. They don't know what the different careers are. Yeah. And that is one of our downfalls, especially mm. in the public schools. Um, our kids don't know the careers out there. Yeah. So, they only venture as far as business, life sciences, um, blah, 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 the things yeah. that we offer at school. So they don't think beyond their class. Yeah. So it's important for them to know that the subject that I choose in their time will affect the career that I'm going to do in day um, at, at the university. Yes. They also need to understand, um, are, am I going to study at the university or am I going to be back mm. So they need to know what subjects to choose in order for me to either do a degree, yeah. or am I going to do a diploma, am mm. I going to do an IC certificate, so research is in there first. Yeah. Um, so when, I think in grade 9, they do a career okay. assignment for right. Yeah. yeah. So that is really a research kind of thing. Mm. So you have to research what am I going to do after mm. school, and how will my subjects affect that okay. all of my subjects affect my mm. life and then choose the correct subjects for what you want to do. Okay. But they also need to plan for I'm going to change my mind yeah. and that happens. So always plan for a second option mm. and choose subjects that will allow you to then steer yourself into a different direction yeah. um, and make opportunity for the career mm. that you, you or she wants to do. Mm. I think you've summed up what I was actually also going to ask you in terms of what is important for them to consider when choosing these subjects and you are explaining obviously I need to look at careers that I'm going to go into. I need to have a plan B. Please Chris, can you explain to us please the importance of the plan B because what are the things that stand in my way if I just focus on you know one goal? Oh. A kids plan for one thing, as yes. you said. But when you get to university, the scoring system, mm. the academic system, our averages, and how we pass metric and what the requirements are at university mm. are so far apart. Yeah. So um, a lot of kids are disappointed. Mm. And then you have to make a second choice, mm. and you have to choose whatever's open, and you have to go with the flow, mm. and if they end up doing things that they don't need, mm. then they're not prepared for. Yeah. So I always advise my learners to choose a plan A and a plan B that fits with your personality, yeah. that fits with your strengths, mm. that fits with your capabilities. Yeah. So then choose two career options within your subject choice stream. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are going towards a hospitality stream, so that's um, HR mm. and all of those type of things, yeah. then choose two options or two career yeah. options that you can use those subjects mm. for. Mm. If you are going to a science stream, mm. choose time to, to apply to become a doctor yeah. or do nursing. Mm. So then choose your subjects to fit whatever you want to do. Yeah. So they have to have mm, mm, mm. And also very importantly, they have to choose subjects very, very important that, that suits them. Yeah. A lot of the time our children choose subjects to fit the same, go with my friends. Yes. This is what I want to do, yes. what's always what I want to do. <laughs> and then they can't manage yeah. that because that's not the capability, yeah. that's not their thing. Yeah. So it is important that they choose subjects mm. that fit for the capability of their attitude yeah. and their personality. Kylie, thank you so much. This was actually quite informative for me and I thought I know quite a lot. I don't. <laughs> so I really learned a lot from this conversation and thank you so much for your time. I'm obviously hoping it adds value, which I think it will. I'm at 31 and I'm learning new things. <laughs> I'm sure our great minds that will listen to this will learn something. So thank you so much. And we do hope that it adds value as you say. Yes. And then us as parents, we also... Um, find out what's going on yeah. in universities, find out what's going on in mm. different colleges so that we guide 
find out each yeah. properly and then I would like to put up two ratios yeah. and then they can just be like one and be a thing. Yeah. There you have it guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Yes.